Thanks for watching Local News TV. I'm here today in Shefford for their annual summer gala. It's my first time here, so I'm off to find out a bit more about what's going on today. Well, it's, it's the biggest event that we have in Shefford. Um, it's the only one of its, uh, its kind within the whole community. And um, we get everybody involved that we can, and we just hope that everybody comes and has a good time. Is it something that's been running for a long while? It has. It's been running for probably 20 or 25 years. Um, the town council got involved when uh, uh, it got to be a bit too big for the organising group that were doing it at that time and we've taken it on and grown it into what it is today. Part of me is here for the gala, uh, the Shepherd Gala, uh, which is a group of everybody in the town and surrounding areas. We've got uh, Biggleswade, Sea Cadet Band, uh, we've got the, sh the Pipe Band from uh, Bedford coming over, but also the Royal British Legion and uh, I was very, very um, pleased to be elected president of the Shefford branch of Royal British Legion last year. Uh, the Legion is a very important part of the community because we have Chicksands very close to us, uh, which is a tri-service base so that it looks after Army, Navy and Air Force. And it is the centre for training intelligence personnel who are going off to the Far East and the Middle East the important thing of the Legion is that it is a lifetime commitment to those people who need help. And Head Office in London has asked us if we could all come together nationally and raise £90 million. And that's going to take an awful lot of fundraising next year, but hopefully it's going to be an awful lot of fun as well. So some of that fundraising will be going on here at the gala, will it? Oh, very definitely. Hi, uh, my name is Orm Olafsson. That means I'm Orm, the son of Olaf. OK, so everyone has their own Viking name today? That's correct. Everybody who takes part in our reenactment tries to have a complete Viking persona so that as you walk around our camp, you'll see people that are dressed as wealthy warriors, um, they might be dressed as a tradesman. We place an emphasis on educating children, so we, we try to tell children and adults about the harsh realities of that side of life, how what a tough life it was, the fact that you'd be married off at 12 or 13, by the time you were 40 you'd be looking at the end of your lifespan. Um, very hard physical life and then the warriors will display what it's like to be a warrior in that period and if you can imagine being a 14 year old boy on a farm in, in Anglo-Saxon England and you get attacked by Vikings and uh, it's about that 14 year old boy with hardly any training having to go out and defend his village with just a wood, wood axe or with a spear against professional there. Viking warriors that are attacking that are all clad in chainmail. Right. We're just um, attending the local events and uh, letting the children have a look around at the fire engine and uh, telling people what we do, giving out community fire safety uh, advice and things like that. It's very important for, for fire safety uh, reasons really and uh, we can give out advice to people in their homes uh, on, on fire safety and uh, we do a little bit of road safety as well. Well what a fantastic day it's been here in Shefford. We've seen the princesses, we've seen the parade and we've also seen the singer Chrissy G who sang some really great songs. She has a fantastic voice. So that's all from me Emily Blake for Local News TV.